Yeah, it's amazing. You're incredible. <laughs> By far the best, best uh, handling Harley, best braking Harley that I've ever ridden tenfold. I mean, easily. I mean, this is the closest I've ever seen on the Harley to my Ducati. Yeah. You know, or my Supermoto, or my CBR, or any of the sport bikes I have. I mean, this is like right there. Obviously, it's an 800-pound motorcycle, so you're going to have, you know what I mean? But for an 800-pound motorcycle, dude, it's damn fucking close. <laughs> In terms of the braking and the suspension, dude, it is damn fucking close. I mean, just the back brake, dude, has more braking than any combined braking I've ever felt on a Harley. Just the back brake. Pretty sick, isn't it's it? It's insane. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, the way the bike rides is way more impressive than the way it looks. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Okay, so I want to talk about what okay, you did to it. So start, what, start from the beginning or go uh, on the other side. So what we did on this bike is we did our inverted front end, the FG301 on the front end. We did three inch extensions in the front, raised the bike up two inches. We did our gauge relocation. We did a keyless remote a keyless uh, start for the um, for the ignition. Uh, so there's nothing on the triple trees, it's all clean. We just ran the wire straight into the frame there. Very clean, it's got our new gauge pot on it. Gauge buckets, but we're actually just waiting for the black one to come in from the anodizer. Uh, we did uh, three and a half inch rise bars here. We did our risers. We did our mid control kit. We did our pipe and we did an s, &S air cleaner. But what's interesting about this mid control kit is that we made it shift through to primary. This was the first Milwaukee 8 we'd done where we machined the primary and made it shift through the primary itself. Yeah, right there, see the lever? And then of course we did uh, the Hoffman carbon fiber side covers. Uh, we did our front lowers on the bike, our front fairing lowers. Um, we did a Hoffman carbon fiber front fender. Um, we did a Saddleman seat. We did an aluminum swing arm from track on the back. We did an MJK chain drive uh, on the rear. And uh, overall, came out amazing. We did our relocation brackets here for the HD 357s. We did our new uh, extensions on the rear shocks. We did the extensions on the shocks. So there are 14 and a quarter inch shocks on the bike. We did one of our uh, rear uh, brake, radial brake mounts on the rear on the swing arm, along with a Brembo mono block in the rear with one of our uh, Gelfer rear rotors. Did you get a picture of that earlier? Yeah, I got pictures of that stuff. So on a scale of one to 10, it came out of 10. We changed the geometry with uh, the extensions that we did on the forks and the shocks in the rear and actually made the bike incredibly responsive and incredibly stable. Uh, the bike is incredibly stable at a buck 20. I, w I, I wouldn't have any hesitation to ride this bike at 150, would you? No, not at all, zero. Yeah, I mean, I, I know it'll run 150 and that's not a problem for this yeah, bike. I mean, I'll have it there tonight. For yeah, sure when guys down. <laughs> I, I went into a corner at 100. Normally, I take it at 90 is like the limit we take it at to test suspension. I took it at this bike at 100, and it was over an overpass, a concrete overpass. It was really rough, and that thing was just boom planted, like planted at 100, going over rough whoop de doos and stuff. You know, in a, in a corner, leaned over like this. Yeah, yeah. That's a real test on, on a bike stability and chassis stability. And look at the ground clearance that motherfucker's got. Check that shit out. That's crazy. Insane. Do you want to see how much his bike leans over? <laughs> I mean, seriously, help me with it. But you want to get a... No, we don't need to do all that, dude. Give <laughs> <laughs> me anxiety. I'm going to hold it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, and then it went bad. Am I on the peg yet? Yeah, you're touching right now. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, all right, right, hold me up with it. God damn. Alright, hold on. God gave me a heart attack, Kevin. <laughs> you see how far that was leaned over? <laughs> yeah, that's insane. That you could really corner it, dude. You could smash Dinos and FXRs in this thing. Oh I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean I told you I had a dyno that was set up very similar to this with Owens and this and that and it did not feel anything like this. Well I mean this is night and day better, dude. I mean it's not even it didn't have the silver screw right. 
<laughs> the olden screwdriver. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, it's all about testing. I mean, this feels like how that bike should have felt. You know what I mean? Yeah. When it didn't, obviously, there was something not right about it, but. Oh. All right, good.